even thinking about changing my room around. Hey, welcome back Moonbeams. It's Donna Moon Goddess and I'm back with another daily message video for you today. <laughs> I was trying to remember what is that exactly what I call it? Daily message, whatever the date, whatever the cards and the cards today are the queen of the moon oracle for y'all. Happy new moon. Let me tell you something, I just finished doing a new moon ritual. I just finished doing a new moon ritual for myself and with Yasmin Bolin. And I just finished watching Mortal Kombat, y'all. I am feeling magical. Where's the lightning? Where's the lightning? Fire, like something. All right, enough of that. So what we're going to do is gonna get into these cards and everybody you know the deal all right let's get ready <sighs> take a few deep breaths with me <sighs> what we're doing is we are centering ourselves because we want to just kind of bring it down Get into that good. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Though. Just get yourself into that space where you're more listening to your, or tuned into, let's say, your subconscious. One more deep breath. So think of your question. And I'm going to shuffle the cards. And make sure it's something that you really, really care about. Don't be frivolous with it. Today is the new moon. It's perfect. Oh, I just had it. For making wishes for the month. And... It's a very powerful one for anything earthly, any kind of earthly possessions or, you know, love or, love's not really earthly though. Love is boundless and everywhere. But if for like a specific kind of relationship, maybe. Got one more to go. So just. Alright, that's it for those. So here we go. This is your number one. Number two. Number three. One, two, and three. All right, take your pick. We're getting right into it. All right, group number one. You got focus, waxing gibbous. I'm gonna put the, here's the card, just so you can see it's the same card. I'm gonna put that up on the screen like I did in the last one. So, waxing gibbous, focus. number 14 so if that means something to you all right focus you must focus on the task at hand right now there is no room for scattergun oh for a scattergun i never heard of that approach put on the blinkers and do not listen to gossip or negative people if you make a mistake it is your mistake to make do not waste your focus. Do not split your attention in too many places. Here's an affirmation. I have a laser-like focus that serves me well. What we place our focused attention on matters. 
Placing our undivided focus on something means we are more likely to take action on it. We are more likely to finish something we wish to complete if we focus on it. We are more likely to plan and succeed in our achievements should we take time to focus on how. That's just what the new moon is for. Even something as simple as eating a meal is more enjoyable if we take the time to focus on just that, eating and all of its sensory rewards. What hinders focus? Diversion. And it is often diversions we set for ourselves or that we allow. Mm. When we are afraid of our own growth or greatness, we may procrastinate. We might place drama in our own way. We may even focus on everyone except for ourselves and never have the time to do the things we set for ourselves. Our heart's desires, therefore, never come to us. We might allow the opinions of others to get in the way, letting the criticisms and values of others affect us. This is useless. We need to forget about the gossip or opinions of others. What about what our society says? Instead, turn your focus to you and what you are doing. Pay attention to you, you. We need to focus instead on what feels so deeply good to us, what we really want. And what we want to place our laser-like focus upon. And soon, it will be ours. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, I was thinking laser-like focus. You know, I just watched that movie and it's like, psh, okay. Companion stone or metal is carnelian. All right. And quick and to the point for you, group number one. I hope that resonated. Have a blessed day beautiful day. Happy new moon. Go check out Mortal Kombat if you're into that kind of thing because it was pretty damn good. All right. Next group number two. You chose full moon and power. Here's your card. I'll put it up on the screen. Let's see. La la. That is number 16. All right. Oh, there we go. All right, power. Step into your true power. Shine brightly. Do not hide who and what you are. The time is right to attract big things for yourself. Ancestral energy is important. Open your mind to larger possibilities. Big magic can be wrought. An affirmation for you. I have power. It is real. Go outside on a clear night and look up. Hopefully, you'll see the stars a twinkling. If you are really lucky, you might see the swirling Milky Way spilling across the darkness. Oh, I can't tell you how much I love that. And then there she is, the big full moon, unmistakable in her glory and power. She moves the earth itself, stabilizes it into orbit. She releases and pulls the seas. She is the object of devotion, the inspiration of poems, the realm of goddesses. And she has witnessed the very first of us rise up on two legs and venerate her. Generation after generation, we have stood barefoot under the same moon, wishing, setting intentions, dancing, and drawing her graceful power. You are made of the very swirling matter that is the stuff of the stars. You are pure possibility, changing constantly, renewing and transforming. Take this moment to recognize that power 
Oh, that's power and rejoice in it for your next step is the precursor to your future self. Your companion stone or metal is moonstone. Yes, I wear moonstone every day. <laughs> I love this thing. So group number two, I hope that was fantastic for you and it resonated and happy new moon. Have a blessed day. Sending out lots of love on my fingertips. <laughs> All right. Take care. Group number three. What'd you get? You got the waning crescent realization. And number three. All right. I'll put that up on the screen for you. All right. Let's see what number three has for us. So with self-awareness comes a realization. Knowledge is power. Self-examination of your true, oh, of your role within a situation is important. And your affirmation is, I have timely self-awareness and act upon my realizations. As we move into the early waxing cycle, light begins to shine upon the shadows, illuminating what is. This is the beginning of a powerful process, realization. When we decide to really examine our lives without fear or favor, it can be hard. This is, no doubt, an act of courage. We might not like what we discover after all, Yet, without self-awareness and the will to act upon those realizations, whether we perceive them as a negative or a positive, we do not get to change and grow. The realization that we have a pattern, a bad habit or behavior that is causing us pain is a powerful position, even though we may feel worry and pain around this discovery. We can then take personal responsibility to change our situation since we know our current position. Knowing ourselves more completely enables us to accept ourselves more readily and to dare to love exactly who we really are. And your companion stone or medal is adventuring. All right, group number three, that was short and sweet today. I hope it resonated with you and thank you for joining me again and have a wonderful day. Happy new moon. All right, do take care. Okay, everybody, that was a little bit shorter today because we didn't have a lot of explanations in it, but you know, today is a wonderful new moon day and it's a new moon in Taurus. So go out there, make your wishes, and then put some action behind it. And you too can find your power. I can't remember what they called it in the freaking movie. That would have been awesome. Brandon, you know what it is. <laughs> That's my nephew. So anyway, get out there and do your thing. Make this world the place you want it to be for yourself and for those you love. All right. Take care, Moonbees. Hi, vibes.